There are three very useful ideas when we're looking at solving right triangles. That is essentially what we need to be able to do in uh, this problem set. So let's look at uh, these key ideas. Uh, the first one really doesn't really applies to all triangles, not just right triangles. It says that the sum of the angles in any triangle is 180 degrees or else pi radians, depending on how you're measuring. Let's see if I can get the right picture up here. So here's, here's an example. Uh, I've got a triangle here. Suppose that I know some facts. Let me just type them in here so that we, we've got them listed. Let's say that A is equal to 15 uh, degrees. And let's say that C is equal to uh, maybe 30 degrees. Okay, so those are the given facts. Then there's only one angle left, and that's B. So look at what we know. We know that A plus B plus C has to be equal to 180 degrees. What we do know is that A is 30 is 15 degrees. So let's put, replace the uh, replace this A with 15. Plus we need to find out what B is, and we know that C is 30, so that's equal to 180. So uh, there's our situation. Now we can just solve this last equation for B, because I can subtract 30 from both sides of the equation, I can subtract 15 from both sides of the equation. So let's write in that last uh, bit of information. B will finally be equal to 180 minus the 30 that we subtracted from both sides, minus the 15 that we subtracted from both sides, and your job will be to figure out how much that is. Uh, 30 my, 180 minus 30 is 150, is that right? 150 minus 15 would be, uh, well, you work that part out. <laughs> okay. All right. The, the next idea here was that uh, the Sakatoa idea. So let's look at that for a minute. Suppose now that we knew some information that we had a right triangle. Sakatoa always applies to right triangles. Uh, so if we're given one of the ang acute angles, either A or B, if we know either one of those two, then, and we know any one of the three sides, we could use one of these three trig relations to be able to solve for the other missing information. So let's, uh, let's build a, a scenario. Let's say that, uh, that A was equal to 20 degrees. And we know that it's a right triangle. So A is 20 degrees, and now pick any one of the other sides that may that uh, possibly we know. Uh, let's say that it's little a is equal to 12, maybe inches or whatever we're measuring in. Okay. So there we've got the given information. So we know this angle, and we know the side that's opposite that angle. So what, and and we want to find either B or C. Suppose we wanted to find C. Then the things that would be involved would be A, C, and the angle A. The trig ratio that we've got that involves all of those is the sine of A. So we'd be able to apply the following then. In that case, the sine of A, remember that was 20, the sine of 20, is going to be equal to the opposite, which is 12, 
divided by C, which is uh, the piece that we're trying to, to find. Okay, now we'll be able to do some algebra there. Let me just do it right here in, in this discussion area. If I multiply both sides by C, I could have C times the sine of 20 is equal to 12. And then I'd want to divide both sides by the sine of 20. So C would be equal to 12 divided by the sine of 20 degrees. Okay. So now what, to find out what C is, I just need to use this formula. I can do that on my calculator. Be sure my calculator is set to, 20, to uh, the mode of being degrees. And then I just have 12 divided by the sine of 20. And that's going to be what C is. Notice that we could have also found out what B was uh, very easily. It would be a, a similar situation. If I wanted to find out what B was, but I know what A is, and I know that this is 20 degrees, then it's A and B that I'm looking at, and the angle A. So the kind of thing that I'd need to use there is a tangent. So I know that the tangent of A... That's one of my, my known things is, is, uh, is A, that was 20 degrees. The tangent of A is equal to A, and remember that that was another known, 12 divided by B. So the key thing here is to recognize which things you know and which one of the trig ratios is involved there. If it's angle A, I'm going to be using one of these three trig ratios. If it's angle B, I'll be using one of these three trig uh, ratios. And then it's just a matter of, of solving. In this case, again, it's going to be B times the tangent of 20 is equal to 12. And then I can solve for B, getting B by itself by dividing both sides by the tangent of 20. Okay. So there, given this information, we were able to solve for C and also for B. Now notice, if we know that this is 20 degrees and this is 90 degrees, then by our previous discussion, we'd also be able to find out what this is. So we've actually solved that entire triangle uh, with the information that's given. Finally, the third idea is uh, this one, if I can bring up that idea, or idea list. Huh. Wait a minute, where is it? Uh, is the Pythagorean theorem. I've got that listed on this same slide. So, let's see if I can't find that slide again. Okay, the Pythagorean theorem says that a squared plus b squared is c squared. In the case that I've got a right triangle, as soon as I know any two of these three lengths of sides, I'll be able to find the third side because of algebra. Let's do one more example of this with uh, some trig ratio information. Maybe we start out with, uh, with angle A. So, so this is a, a, a new problem that we're looking at. And here in this problem, we're going to uh, have the following given information that angle A is equal to uh, 35 degrees. And let's say now that angle, that side C is the other piece of information. <clears throat> let's say that C is uh, 14 inches. Okay, so there's our given information. And we need to find A and B. So what do we know? We know angle A, so we'll be using one of these three trig ratios because they all have angle A in them. Uh, we also know this length C. So if I wanted to find A, I'd need to find some trig ratio that involves an A, a C, and angle A. That would be a, a sign again. So let's just quickly 
produce those solutions here. We know that the sine of 35 degrees is equal to the opposite, which is A, divided by the hypotenuse, which in this case is 14. So now that becomes an easy problem to solve. We just need to multiply both sides by 14. 14 times the sine of 35 is going to be equal to what the A is. Oops. So there we found out what A is. Can you see how to find out what B is? B would involve this side, this hypotenuse, and this angle. That happens to be a cosine information that we need. So we would use the cosine of B divided by C. The cosine of 35 would be equal to B divided by C, and then pretty soon we could use our calculator to get the job done. Okay, hope that's helpful.